Hey folks, it's Greg from Greg's Country Cabin Outdoors. Hope you're having a great day. I'm going to try to light a fire in the wood stove. First fire since we got it. I've got the flue pipe all hooked up. And uh, I'll show you that later. But anyway, I want to start with some, some uh, kindling here. I've got one of these fire starters called Strike a Fire, and uh, we get those by the truckload. We've got plenty of them in the cabin, so I'm going to try this, see if I can actually strike a fire. Look at there, got it on the first try. All right, so what I'm going to do, if I can keep it going, is break this in half because I want to light the fire from both sides. It lights fairly easy. Once you tear it, it lights up fairly easily. We'll put that down in the bottom there where it'll catch my pine sticks. And these are pine scraps from the interior walls. I've got a vent here. I'm going to go ahead and open that. That'll get me good draft going up through the bottom. Close the top section of that. I've still got plenty of room to get my firewood inside. No, that didn't put it out. It just looks like it. It's a lot darker in there now. Put another one in there. this because I want to get a good positive draft. <clears throat> One thing that does is this has a draft on it as well that will help feed the fire but this lower draft down here will do more good than this upper draft. Yeah, it's starting to catch. So we'll be back in a few minutes but while we're waiting on that let me take you outside and show you the chimney and flue pipe. Okay, I ran the flue up and out the wall, and this is stainless steel flue specifically for wood stoves. I had to buy that elbow and this section of pipe. The rest of it I already have, <clears throat> and this does have a damper, which is open. Make sure it's open all the way. Okay, so let's go outside and take a look at the actual flue running up the side of the cabin or shed toe <clears throat> there it is it's stainless steel and you can see there's smoke coming out of the chimney already all right this setup this bracket here that cap there there's a sleeve that goes between this piece and the one up above is a T and that cap up there all came as one unit as one package I had to buy the three foot extension. That bracket came with the package. Hang on. And I had to buy this one foot extension. I had to buy the lock ring that holds this transition piece right here in place. This transition piece came with it. This outer cover came with it and the thimble that goes between this side and the outside came with the package. The thimble requires you to cut a 12 and a half inch diameter hole for a six inch flue pipe. That gets you far enough away from the wood and gives you a little bit of insulated value. Plus this stainless steel pipe is insulated. 
So there's no heat that can transfer to the wood. You're safe. This is a good system. Anyway, we'll check the fire and see how it's doing. Look at there. Burning rather nicely and all just because of that one vent right there. So we'll see how long it takes to heat this place up. In the meantime, this is Greg from Greg's Country Cabin Outdoors. Hope you're having a great day. Thanks for watching. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.